Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel, Fiery Falcon Tarot. This is going to be your next 48. Sorry guys, I just got to munch down my breakfast. Sorry, I had to get a little bit of me. Anyway, Aries, if you knew, uh, shit, Aries, I just did Aries. Could you, some of you guys could be dealing with the Aries, Tor um, now I'm saying Taurus, what the hell? Virgo, I'm so sorry. I know who you are. Give me a second. The cessation in my mouth from the shake. Mm, I mean the smoothie. And my breakfast sandwich is still very powerful. It has me a little tongue tied. All right, Virgo, I'm ready. <laughs> sorry, guys. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome. If you, if you come as you come on in, go ahead and hit that like, share, and subscribe. If you haven't done so, please do so. If this reading resonates with you, Virgo, go ahead and leave a thumbs up on on the con on the channel. I'm sorry, on the video, okay. And um, so some of you guys could be nervous about speaking to someone or nervous to tell someone how you feel. I'm all jittery and shit right now. What is that? I thought it was me, but maybe it's y'all. The fuck. Anyway, Virgos, it's okay to be nervous, but, you know, just write it down if you have to. Put it in the song, okay? So some of you guys could be um, nervous about expressing yourselves to someone. We have Make Love Plan by Carrie Hilson. It's a very romantic song, by the way. It's making me feel bubbly. <laughs> so y'all could like someone. Y'all could be crushing on someone, okay? Um, and But look, it's going to be a very healing connection, if this is you, okay, if this is new. So I don't know what's going to come out for you guys. Um, we're just going to wing it and see what comes out, okay? And we're going to talk about it, period. Um, this is a general reading. Let me put that out there because it may not resonate with you guys, okay? If it doesn't, just go ahead and like the video. Allow me to pick up on your energy for the next read, okay? Um, be sure to check your other placements as I put in the description down below. If it does resonate and you need some more clarity, go ahead and book a personal reading, okay? It's very, very affordable. I do life coaching as well, so check it out. All right, anyway, let's go. What we got for Virgo for the next 48? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Virgo. Um, today, we're going to be pulling from the Moonology card, Oracle cards. We're going to be pulling from the Abundance and the Angel Answers only. Yes, we are not doing shamans today. Just wanted to cut it down a little bit. So, but I definitely feel like someone is in love here. Or definitely crushing heart. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. What's up, Virgos? Talk to me. Leave a comment. As long as it's high vibe, of course, okay? We only want positive content on the channel. That's why the channel's here, for positive content. Okay. All right, let's see. What we got for Virgos? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Next 48. Thank you guys for y'all patience. I know um, y'all have video has been delayed. You're not the only sign that's been delayed, but just bear with me. Okay, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. If you're a Virgo, you have donated to the channel. I truly gratefully appreciate it. If you're a Virgo and you have gotten a personal reading from me, thank you guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> Confirmation. Thank you guys. As I got a message here. Message. So if you're contemplating on getting the personal reading, there's your confirmation. Go ahead and book with me. So what do we have here for Virgos? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Virgo. Okay. It's not quite ready here. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> okay, we waiting for it, Spirit. We waiting. So... Virgo's like, yeah, we waiting. Okay, no, we're not we're not waiting like that. Must wait too many. Alright, so definitely uh, 
um, not wanting to get it out. Like, spit it out, Virgos. There we go. Alright, Virgos, let's get into this for you guys. Hope everyone is well and safe. I didn't mention that, and I'm sorry about that. Um, remember to keep yourself grounded and energy protected here. For some reason, I'm being called to say that to you guys. Alright, so let's go. We got 444 on the clock. Alright, but just know the universe got your back, okay? All will be well, all will be well. We have adjustments are required, okay? So we just need to do a little bit of tweaking here. Make some adjustments here and, you know, push forward. I'm here in charge. A time for healing. This is at the bottom of the deck and this came back out. So I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely balancing yourselves out. Your masculine and feminine energy here. Um, look, we have bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. As we are about to approach Aquarius season. Uh, well, actually, we, we, um... Yeah, we are about to enter into Aquarius season here. If I'm not mistaken, if we didn't enter it into... If we haven't entered into it quite yet, we will here briefly in a few days. Okay, so you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius here. You could have an Aquari Aquarius placement in your um, in your chart, okay? Um, but if you don't, then this is just simply saying that, you know, this is double healing here, okay? So we have a... Oop, I'm glad it didn't go in my water. Um, we have, um, like I said, a time for healing, right? And then we have, this will be basically my star card, which is definitely healing energy here. Wanting to heal a situation here. Wanting to bring balance and harmony to something. That's what I'm feeling here. We have companionship. Giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. Okay? So this could be that new connection that I felt in the beginning here that I feel like you guys are getting involved in or will be getting involved in here. Um, we have elephants there in the picture, which are... <laughs> Very companionated creatures here. I love, 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 love elephants here. As you see, I have a white elephant here on my altar. Um, we have, there's something better, okay? So if you guys are in a runt about something that took place that didn't work out, something that wasn't successful, just know that it wasn't for you, okay? What's meant for you will never pass you by, Virgos. Um, again, uh, like I told Aries in her reading just a moment ago, I know it's definitely easier said than done, but just trust me. Just trust me, okay? Yeah, we got you going on a new direction here, on a new journey here. You go, you're go, you fighting your way there, but you're going to definitely go. If you're contemplating it, it, there's your confirmation. You need to go ahead and go for it, okay? Get the fuck out of Dodge. As I look up, I see people running away in this, in this scene here. So, yeah, get the fuck out of Dodge, Virgos. Alright. Almost let your life go by. Yeah, don't let your life go by. Don't let your life pass by for anything or anyone, okay? Yeah, look. World card. New cycle is here for you guys. A tower moment. So you guys definitely could have experienced a tower recently in your lives in the um last six months I'm hearing. Or within the six month in the in the future in the six months coming, okay? Take it how it resonates. Um but just know that you will have a new cycle in love that will begin as soon as you get through this clearing this energy of healing here and wanting to get yourself back balanced, okay? From whatever you guys went through, I feel like it was definitely a tough and challenging cycle for you guys. Yeah, we got to take this pain from me. Yeah, for sure. Um, some of you guys could have been in an abusive relationship here. Uh, could have been physical, mentally, and emotional here for sure. Um, Queen of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck here. So I feel like this is about you guys just standing firm and getting back in your element here, I'm hearing. Taking your power back, Virgos, for sure. Um, if you guys were experiencing a, um, a voluntary relation, a, vol a violent relationship, um, my prayers and, f and heart goes out to you guys. Um, please reach out for counseling or seek advice if you need to. Um, that could... Confirmation. Um, so definitely make sure that you guys do that as the phone is going off again. Definitely could have been a heated, heated situation here for sure. 
as when I lit the sage, I felt an immense amount of heat coming off of it. And the piece is burning here on my table. <laughs> uh, so, I don't want my table burning up. So, let me try to get this off. All right, so that takes care of that. But um, like I was mentioning, if you guys have experienced that, um, again, my heart goes out to you guys, and please seek counseling or seek help, uh, professional help, I'm going to say, okay, as I am not a professional counselor. Uh, however, um, I do want to, uh, you know, recommend that, you know, for sure. And you will get through it, okay? All right. All right. So let's do this here. So we got you as the overall energy as a queen of pentacles showing up here. So let's bring love into the situation here. Five of coins is the first one out here. All right, so we got, you know, just feeling abandoned, isolated, lost, betrayed, um, not part of a plan, um, shit like that I'm hearing. Yeah, we got the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck, could have been done with the Taurus, as I mentioned Taurus in the earlier moments here of the video. Um, if not, you could have been just married in a committed relationship. The Queen of Pentacles typically could represent that as well. Um, but yeah, I just feel like you made some adjustments here once you got this news I'm hearing or was aware of this new direction you were going to have to take. All right. Yep. The full card at the bottom of the deck. We got Aries energy there showing up heavy as I believe I blurred out Aries in the beginning of the video as well, too. We have the Queen of Wands, we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Hangman, and we have Tower. So you guys could have been dealing with also a uh, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy here. Uh, we have Pisces again with the Hangman, and we have the Tower, which could be Scorpio energy as well. With the Fool card at the bottom of the deck. Um... So this is just saying here with the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Cups here, you guys could have been dealing with someone that could have been questioning a connection here, questioning a commitment I'm hearing. As we remember, we just saw the Hierophant here. Someone could have been potentially questioning if they wanted that connection here with you guys here. As again, I remind you guys, we had the Five of Coins, the first card out, the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Cups here. So something definitely shook up a home foundation here. Um, once this happened here, I feel like it was very abrupt changes that kind of uh, took place here. I'm hearing like uh, screeching breaks here. Um, I'm hearing please forgive me now with the song here by Usher. Um, but I feel like this just threw everything out of whack into into um, a whirlwind. I'm hearing, I'm seeing like, a, like the dryer or like a tornado type of thing here and I feel like you guys just took a new direction here and just started working on yourselves here working on building up your money your finances here or just trying to get back into it to establish a sense of security a sense of depend independence I'm hearing as well all right someone could have been having a lot of one nights that you found out about as well as we're hearing that in this video here um, as I do not own rights to this music let me throw that out there too all right, Aries. Oh, shit, what the fuck? Aries. I keep saying Aries. Virgo. So you could definitely be dealing with, uh, you know, uh, parent, children. Uh, what the fuck am I trying to say here? The the parent of your child, your child's parent. You could be dealing, having issues with them as well here. Um, someone is trying to contemplate and make an offer here. I feel like they haven't quite came in yet because they, they're contemplating all these one night stands they had, all these solid celebrations that they were having here yeah look two of swords behind that yeah someone's indecisive about coming in and communicating that because they know that you know about the shit that they were doing behind your back here the ace of wands but deep down they want a new commitment here or mm -hmm, i'm hearing a new commitment so again you guys could have been married to this individual here but if it's not that then i feel like they just want to try again here i'm hearing dust yourself off and try again by Aaliyah here we have yeah, the Five of Cups, that's kind of the deck slid, and the Five of Cups is the card that was kind of sticking out. 
that I was prone to move the deck from. Um, but yeah, they're feeling very fucking regretful. They're feeling very uh, in their feeling, in their baggies, okay? Which we know all the grocery stores has converted to paper bags. So we know that shit's going to bust open pretty soon here. But look, we got the star card that's showing up for sure. So someone's definitely contemplating on how to bring a sense of healing, a balance to the connection here. But I feel like there's been a lot of lies. Yeah, the emperor. Okay, so this could have been someone that, you know, wanted their cake and have it too. Look, the five of, five of cups coming back out here. Yeah, look, nine of wands. Someone's paranoid. Paranoid, fucking schizo. All this shit here. Yeah, they're terrified about you dealing with other people here. Or the, the fact that you might have moved on. Okay, and if you did, I don't blame you. I don't blame you here. And they're just feeling regretful about the choices they made, about who they chose to give their time, their energy, their love to. What's this companionship here for Virgos? But this is coming on into the something's better here. The star card, the two of swords, the ace of wands, and the three of cups. So I feel like Virgos, um, once you guys, uh, I just feel like this is a, a broad message here for the general uh, collective here. There's a lot of healing that's taking place amongst the collective here or that's trying to take place or that should take place amongst the collective here. So I feel like you guys just need to focus on that. If you have kids, you know, focus on them. Um, we got the king of wands at the bottom of the deck now. Um, we had the two of pentacles and the four cups here. Again, so someone's just really uptight here about the games that they played. Um, but we know, you know, when you play video games, you know, there's only one winner and one loser, right? Um, or if you're playing online with multiple people and you're playing like Call of Duty or some shit, then, you know, your whole team loses, right? And that's what, up to seven people? I don't fucking know. Seven to ten people, I'm thinking. I'm hearing. Um, but yeah, your whole team lost. And that's what I feel like here with the Ten of Cups. Like, you, you lost the whole team, your whole team. Your A-team, I'm hearing like your, um, okay, what is it? Your All-Star team? Like, damn, how you lose the All-Star team, bro? The fuck now? You got backups and shit. Yeah, look, Seven of Swords. They lost the whole team. Now they're trying to figure out, Coach, Coach, can I get back on the team? Can I get back on the team? No, motherfucker. No, motherfucker. Cause you ain't shit, motherfucker. Seven of Swords ass, motherfucker. No, you can't get back on the team, bitch. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing somebody say. No, bitch. You can't get back on the team, bitch. We don't need you, bitch. Yeah, the High Priestess and the King of Cups. Somebody that definitely wanted to hold back their feelings, wanted to hold back their secrets. Uh, and I, well, well, I'm hearing secrets. Well, they clearly held back some motherfucking secrets because we got the Seven of Swords, right? Seven of Swords, and then we have the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. So we know they lied about some shit here. We're going to find out in a minute when we clarify what exactly they lied about. But I don't need to clarify. I know what they what they lied about. I see the shit here. They lied about having multiple partners. They lied about having relations with other people. What they say on Sherman? He said, Sherman wanted to have relations. Mm-hmm. Virgo wanted to have relations with other relations. There wasn't even rel relative... Relevant motherfuckers. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, Sherman, Sherman, Sherman. Yeah, they wanted to be buddy love out in these motherfucking streets. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Instead, instead of going ahead and working things with Sherman, you know, someone that was loyal, companionated, that was dedicated, a, a hard worker, motivated to lose the weight he wanted to get the fucking fat off he did he did he was just struggling y'all could have meal prep for sherman is that what y'all why y'all did all this for somebody gaining a little weight but was still holding down home and i feel like someone's realizing that like oh shit like oh shit i i did all this i did all this to sherman when, when all Sherman wanted to do was work and provide for the, me, the children, you know, make sure that we didn't have a tower mom, make sure we did keep a stable foundation here. You know, if I would have just been honest with Sherman and just said that, you know, I had some issues, 
I had some fucked up shit about me going on and we could have just figured out how we could have worked through this shit here. We could have just, we could have healed some shit together here. I feel like that's what y'all was supposed to do. I feel like someone was a wounded warrior or a wounded puppy here that has some limping going on, right? Not theoretically, right? Work with me. It's a story here. Watching the fucking movie here. Get your popcorn. Sit back and listen. So the dog had like some limps and shit. You know, the dog was trying to heal. The dog wanted to heal, right? He didn't have the right bandages, right? Maybe he didn't have the right saline. Maybe the shit was old. Now you gotta do another cycle here. Or they wanna do another cycle here. I'm hearing, bitch, please. Bitch, please. Where they do that at? Uh-uh. I got the strength and the power in myself to walk the fuck away. Look, strength and the power. Now, fuck out of here. Fuck you talking about. Mm-mm. Yeah, Virgos, I feel you. And if it's not you, Virgo, then this is the other person. Okay, take it how it resonates. You know what side of this shit y'all on. Y'all know what y'all was out here doing. Yeah, trying to be, trying to be seen and shit. Mm-hmm. Getting your buddy love on, like I said. Yep, but now you worried about this judgment shit that's going to come down on your head. I feel like a lot of the collective that is on the wrong side of karma, they are experiencing this shit. And if they haven't, February is right around the motherfucking corner here. And look, the Ace of Swords is here. So I'm speaking the truth to y'all, but the truth will be shown and revealed to y'all about this person here. This Six of Cups ass energy here. Somebody that you might have kids with. Someone that you might have been affiliated with for six years, three years. You know, somebody that you had a foundation with. Uh, uh, you thought you had a foundation with, and I understand that very much. Well, uh, very much. I see it here. Exactly. Look, we're done here. We're gonna clarify. Two of Wands. Let's see where y'all moving at. What's this new direction that you're heading into, Virgos? We have the overall energy to drop back out in the higher font. So I feel like Spirit has woken you up to let you know about some shit that was going on here that you might not have been. Uh, paying attention to here, I'm hearing privy to. So maybe spirit kept you blinded, kept you in the dark about it because they wanted to make sure that with the person that you were associating with, they wanted to see how they were going to move here. They were waiting to see exactly how they were going to do it, and if and if how they did it, if it was justifiable. And I'm hearing and seeing that it wasn't here. We have the strength in the chariot. So your angels and your ancestors are encouraging you guys to move forward. And this is why this shit has been exposed to you guys. Um, I feel like there could potentially be more things being exposed to you guys. But the damage is done for the most part. And that's what I'm hearing and seeing. Um, they showed you guys enough damage to get your get your ass rolling here. Oh, a high priest is in the ten of pentacles here. Um... And another thing, I'm seeing only this one Ace of Cup. I don't feel like whatever happened, I don't feel like anybody is sorry about what they did either. I don't see a Page of Cups. I don't see a Knight of Cups that's popped out here. I mean, I have the King of Cups for you guys, but yeah, the, the judgment is here again. Friend of yours, so it could have been a friend, a friend of you guys that portrayed you or assisted in this portrayal here. Could have been a family member that assisted in this portrayal here. Or it just could have been your significant other. <laughs> Confirmation. Uh, yeah, seven of cups here. So it could have been seven people that betrayed you. But overall, it was a delusion. Illusion here. Okay, what's the five of coins here? Let's get three on that. Who and what is in the cold? Oh, the empress. Are you kidding me? Someone didn't see the Empress? Oh my God. The Ten of Swords. One more, please, Spirit. Whoa, the Nine of Cups here. So someone turned their back on a wish. Wow. Someone that they could have had the world with. Or, whew, man, that's heavy there. Wow, okay. So someone was lured into the world away from this connection here. 
We have the devil, the knight of cups in the world. So if someone was lured in a new, a new direction here, they were baited here with the three of wands. And I feel like they definitely went for it. Wow. And I'm putting this over the Ace of Swords here. So this is going to be some truth about this shit right here. If y'all don't know about this here, um, someone allowed their addictions to lead them in astray. Okay, into the dark. Yeah, Nine of Wands here. I'm guessing they want this to cross that energy here. Um, yeah, look, the moon card. So, yeah, okay. So, this is clarifying that. So, these secrets are going to be coming out here about this situation here. The Ace of Swords is here. So, oh, phone's ringing. Uh, pinging confirmation here. Double, double, <laughs> double ping. All right. So, let's see here. What's the tower? What caused the tower here? Got the Queen of Swords. Two more, please. Three of Cups. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So, uh, another Queen's probably going to pop out here. One more for the Tower, please. We've got the Queen of Swords, the Three of Cups. And last but not least. Oh, we have the Four of Cups here. Okay. One more. Give me the clarify the four cups. Who's this other queen here that's hiding? I feel like there's another queen hiding. Who's this other queen hiding? Five of Wands flipped out. On the two of pentacles and the ace of cups here. Battling between lovers. Okay, a lot of lies. Lying to both both lovers, multiple lovers here. <laughs> Look, lovers. <laughs> Lying to multiple lovers here. I feel like trying to cover up track after track after track. I mean, this is a motherfucker that walks in the house with these little those boobies on their feet. They don't want to know that they they don't want nobody to know that they were even there. They trying to cover these tracks up so well. Look. Hangman. Hey, somebody woke up though. Somebody got a clue here. Eight of Swords dropping out here. Mental prison. How can we come back? How can I come back? Look, two of wands at the bottom of the deck. Two of wands. How can I come back? I was just saying. How can I come back? Someone's in their head. How can I come back? Three of Pentacles. How can I work? How can I fix this? See, look. Do you mind? I feel like this is going to be your justice here. Virgo, you're going to have a new offer coming in here. Do you mind? focus here it was a lot of was a lot of body going on up here I, I couldn't focus here okay so your new connection could be a well uh, put together physique okay you guys could like to do things outdoors she they he or she could be very outdoorsy uh, very much so into nature uh, any type of activities like that um, Okay, let's focus on the, let's focus on the message. Let's focus on the message. Eyes down, fiery. <laughs> All right, what else do we want to clarify, y'all? Let's see what the fuck they were being sneaky about. Okay, let's do the seven of swords. Give me three for the seven of swords for Virgo. Next forty-eight. Oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna be done here. Now we got the seven of wands. I feel like Virgos, you're very defensive here. And if it's not you, Virgos, and if you did this to someone, they're defensive here. We have the seven of swords is clarifying the two of pentacles, juggling the lovers, which I, which I called that. Knight of wands is someone's very flighty, only sexual oriented. 
uh, likes to come in and have fun and not to do have fun and run okay not he's not they're not cooking dinner they're not washing clothes they're not doing dishes they're not helping children with homework they're not doing any of that shit okay might not even be fucking working and we have the star card okay so they could have definitely had um felt like going towards this flighty energy was healing for them okay so this is also like this devil type of energy here that's like a sexual type of energy. Someone that's driven by desires, okay? Uh, the Seven of Cups was also shown like someone is desirable by illusions. Um, or desires, illusions, okay? Things that are... Um, it's like being in a, a, desert, a desert, right? When you see that mirage and you think that there's water there. And it's not. It's cactuses. It's dry. You know, it's dry land. It's dry territory. Okay. So, let's take a glance real quick. See if there's anything else we want to clarify for you, Virgos. But again, we have the star showing up twice here. Uh, well, three times now. We have the star in the Moonology deck, right? We have the star there. We have the star here. And we have the star here. So, this is a quadruple wish here in the Nine of Cups. That someone is going to get ready to get here. Someone is getting ready to get a major, major fucking wish here. With this new love, this new connection that's going to be coming in here. Let's clarify. What's the star card down here? With the two of swords, the ace of wands, and the three of cups, and the six of wands. Woo! Yes! <laughs> what you manifested here. A beautiful, harmonious connection here with the perfect person. Oh, wow. With the King of Swords is here. It could be an air sign. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Whoa. Look at this Virgos. Wow. So we have the strength to push through, to persevere, to this beautiful manifestation that's coming in here for you, Virgos. Look, you manifested here with the Ace of Wands. I feel like Nisha. I just want to smile on the camera with you guys. <laughs> Nisha's uh, Leo's Tarot is her channel here on uh, I was about to say Instagram. I'm not sure if she has Instagram or not, but she's definitely on YouTube. But uh, she's so funny. So like when she gets like major arcana cards or like exciting cards or energy that she feels off of them, she typically just holds it up and she just does like a cheesy ass smile. It's so funny. Um, anyway, uh, I was gonna say Leo's. So yeah, you, it could be a Leo, a Leo coming in for you, Virgos, or vice versa. Okay, but anyway, you manifested this new intimate passionate beginning this harmonious high vibrational connection like i feel it. i see two people <laughs> okay guys well i hope hopefully you're not looking like this here let's let's clean that up okay because I, I was about to say pubic pubics hairs but so let's take care of that down there for for men and women shit fuck that right like clean all that shit up down there right um because I like to eat. I mean, and, you know, people like to eat too. So, you know, clean it up. But anyway, I feel like you guys are definitely going to be going back and forth with a lot of communication here. Planning trips, planning vacations, I feel like right away. I feel like the desire for one another is going to be almost immensely, immediately, um, right away. I feel like you both are going to be very, very happy here. Could be a same-sex couple for some of you guys out there. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Uh, gender and tarot doesn't necessarily matter, but we do have the King of Cups and the King of Swords. So it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or again, like I said, the Air Sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But whatever it is, is what you ask for. Your spirits are here. They heard you. They woke you up. They answered you. They took you in a direction that you needed to go, right? Ooh, the cards really want to fall in this water down here. So it's going to make you very happy here. And you're also going to find, you know, your money is going to be going good. Okay. Looking good. Getting better. Okay. It's like finding the, it's like following uh, the rainbow, right? Follow the rainbow to this right here. The blissful, happy.
Okay, so from this vid, this is Keisha Cole here. I'm not sure the title here. Sorry, guys, I paused so I can let you guys kind of hear the lyrics as well. Um, but I just feel like Virgos, um, I feel like either you guys tried to play someone or someone tried to play you. Okay, take it how it resonate. Um, and just know that whoever was the player, right? Um, just know that they're getting ready to file out. Okay, they're getting ready to file out. They're getting ready to, um, you know, if it's, if you guys resonate with football, then they are getting ready to get the wind knocked out of them. <laughs> like, just know that you don't have to worry about it. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. So, yeah, you guys could have been potentially married. Uh, finalizing the divorce here now or in the process of going through a divorce here. Um, just, you know, be brave and go through the process. Yeah, because you deserve love. You are lovable. So just know that anything that fumbled or crumbled or broke or damaged, then it wasn't meant for you to have it. It's meant for you to replace it. Okay? Getting to know each other. What did I say? As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And that's exactly what I felt here with this energy, with the with what you guys are subconsciously and up some up subconsciously manifesting. I feel like for a lot of you guys. You guys have just prayed in your sleep to your gods, to your spirit teams, to your ancestors, to your archangels, um, you know, all those wonderful things. Shout out to Archangel Michael as he is a, uh, he's always right here by my side. I, I, you know, I'm just so grateful for my spirit guys and my spirit gurus and my team, um, you know, because they really, they really be shutting shit down. All right. And y'all need to be thankful too, because it looks like y'all spirit team came in as well. And shut this shit down here for sure. Because if it didn't, I mean, for some of you guys, it could have been STDs involved, okay? I have to put that out there. Um, you know, there also could have been uh, secret pregnancies or hidden pregnancies I'm hearing too as well. That you guys could be finding out about. Or if it's not, then the secret is out, okay? The secret is out, Okay. You can see the little baby on the horse there. Okay. The secret's out. All right. But anyway, getting to know each other. And that's what I felt here with this new, beautiful connection here. Calling your soulmate, your prayers, affirmation, and visual, visual, visualizations help bring you together. And I feel like you guys definitely have fantasized about each other um, in your dreams, uh, you know, throughout the day. You wonder what this beautiful connection would feel like, what it would be like. Uh, you know, all of those wonderful things. And you guys are going to have a kid here too if you choose to do so, whether that is through adoption, in vitro, or, you know, if it's a, hormo a heterosexual relationship, then of course, you know, it's going to be just the old-fashioned way. But just be careful because I'm seeing very, uh, okay, a lot of shafting. Does, do people even say that anymore? Somebody that she connected with might, might say that. Okay, but it's going to be a lot of this. Okay, a lot of that. A lot of... I'm hearing that song. What's that song? What it do? Shorty, what's up? What it do? All I want to do is get bang you. And when the song comes on, it got like that bed, that bed noise. It's like... Okay. And look, Justin Bieber is coming on. Until the end of time. Yeah, I feel like this connection that you guys are going to have, Virgos, and if it's not you, then it's the other person, okay? If you shitting on somebody, then this is not you. The universe is not going to grant you a divine connection after you done shitted on somebody, okay? So this is not for you, Crosswatcher. However, if it's for the high vibration, harmonious person that was shitted on, this is for them. They're going to be blessed with this divine connection, okay? Let me make that very fucking clear. I don't know why people think that they can get over on people and they think that, that they're going to get the blessings. No, motherfucker. You don't get the blessing. You What you get is the karma, okay? However that comes. And I don't, I don't, I don't dish out that energy. I let the, the universe decide what that looks like. As well as you should too. But anyway, Virgos, that's what I have for you guys. Um... Trouble water don't always... Uh, don't worry about the trouble water, okay? Don't worry about... Rocky Rose ass motherfuckers that don't mean shit, they don't got shit, they ain't going shit, they ain't going nowhere, okay? People that are trying to block your blessings and stagnate your energy here, um, 
we see that they will be the ones that would be blocked. They would be blocked by this pregnancy here with someone that, that they don't know. Okay, they will be the ones that are feeling abandoned here with this five of wands or five of coins. What they try to make y'all feel here, that's what they're gonna feel. That's gonna be their wish fulfilled from the universe. Okay, this ten of swords, the constant betrayal, the constant uh, left out in the cold, minimum income, minimum resources here, and I feel like this is like spiritual uh, prison here. With the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Cups, I feel like they won't have any wish fulfills. They won't have any type of, uh, you know, any connection after this. I feel like it could be ten years of karma. Nine to ten years of karma. Between five and ten years of karma that someone has to pay. That they're going to suffer, man, for the bullshit that they did to a divine person here. As we got the star card here three times, someone's a big fucking deal with the star, the sun, and the high priestess here. I mean, we got the star card out here three times. Three times. And I feel like someone's about to find out that someone was, you know, truly that. The star. But anyway, Virgos, that's what I got for you guys. Uh, be sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe if this, visit, if this video resonated with you. Um, then leave a comment down below, okay? And if you're looking for more clarity... On this, if this resonates with you, go ahead and book a personal reading, okay? I assure you that I don't put a cap on my personal readings. I try to give my um, my clients everything that comes out here. Um, so with that being said, you know, your reading could very well go an hour into two hours, potentially. Um, I try not to go that far, but depending on what the messages are and what's coming out and the energy that I'm feeling, um, then like I said, I don't really cap it. All right, so just keep that in mind as well. We're... Um, I think that's it. That's all I got for you guys. All right. So again, be safe. Best of luck with this energy here. Um, and just know that you guys will get through it. Okay. Just row nice and slow. Avoid shallow water or the deep water, the murky shit. You know, just stay in the shallow water so that way you can see things that are trying to come up against you. Okay. All right. Be blessed and stay well.